but in Yandere Simulator, the player is surrounded by high school students, not soldiers or bodyguards. So how does a high school student react to witnessing a murder at school? The answer is that it's different from student to student, and depends entirely on their personality. In Yandere Simulator, each character has been assigned a personality type, called a persona, which dictates how they react to murder and corpses. I was originally planning to only have five or six different personas in the game, but over the past few years, I have implemented about 13 different personas, and as of today, I've added two more. These new personas will present a tremendous threat to the player, and that's what today's video is all about. In 2016, I described my idea for the game's photography club. The idea was that the club would be populated by friendly, carefree students who don't actually have any real interest in photography and just use the club for goofing around. But if students start disappearing or dying on school grounds, it would impact the atmosphere of the school, and these carefree students would turn into junior detectives who would attempt to track down the culprit. I called this the Sleuth Persona. As of now, the Photography Club and the Sleuth Persona are finally in the game. The Sleuth Persona functions much differently than every other persona. It's the only persona that changes based on school atmosphere, which is a number that is affected by the player's actions. For example, the discovery of a student's corpse at school is minus 10% school atmosphere, but a student mysteriously going missing is only minus 5% school atmosphere. When school atmosphere is over 90%, the members of the photography club are happy and carefree, so their animations look relaxed. Below 90%, they feel worried about recent events at school, so their animations look a bit paranoid. Below 80%, they will start actively looking for danger, and their animations will change to reflect this. When school atmosphere is over 90%, they will react to the player's camera with a friendly pose. Below 90%, they react to the player's camera with suspicion. When school atmosphere is over 80%, they will use their club room for chatting and goofing around. Below 80%, they use their club room as an investigation headquarters. They build a fake crime scene to put themselves into the right mindset for hunting down a criminal. They put photographs of potential suspects on a corkboard and have serious discussions instead of goofing around like they normally do. When school atmosphere is over 80%, the photography club's leader has casual, carefree dialogue when you're talking to him about joining his club. Oh, hey! Welcome to our little getaway. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest, we don't actually do any photography here. We just eat snacks, read manga, and goof around. If you're okay with that, you're totally welcome to join the club and hang out with us. But if you're, like, actually looking for a real club about photography, this isn't actually the right place. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, you want to join us? That's cool. The more the merrier. Sweet. Help yourself to some snacks if you'd like. Below 80%, his dialogue will change and get more serious. Hey, do you need something? Some seriously bad stuff has been happening lately. We can't just pretend like everything is fine. We need to get to the bottom of this. Everyone in the school deserves to be safe and happy. We won't let anyone turn our school into a dangerous, scary place. We're going to patrol the school and look for the person who's responsible for everything that's been going on recently. Are you interested in helping us find the perpetrator? That's great. You're a part of the investigation team now. Let's work hard to keep the school safe. When school atmosphere is over 80%, they will spend all of their spare time in their club room, just chatting about nothing in particular. 